How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Skyrim skill series episode. Today we're going to be doing Conjuration. So for everything Conjuration, you're going to want to come to the College of Winterhold. And right now my Conjuration is at 25. So I have Apprentice level. Come and talk to Phineas and he will sell you all the spells that you are able to access at your level. So first of all, we're going to be doing Bound Bow, Conjure Familiar, Conjure Flame Atronaut, Ray Zombie, Reanimate Corpse, and Soul Trap. So, yeah, these are just the basic easy spells to cast. And right now, I'm just showing how much they cost to cast. And if you make a suit that makes Conjuration cost 25% less on four pieces, a ring, a necklace, a helmet, and a chest piece, your boosting Conjuration will go much, much faster. But you do not have to do that. You can just wait an hour once your magic runs out. See, and if you wear this suit, costs nothing to cast. Now I'll show you the spells. Here we got Bound Swords. Two Daedric Swords, not too bad. And then Conjure Familiar. Alright, now we have Conjure Flame Atronaut. Probably my favorite looking out of all of the summonable Atronauts. And then Soul Trap, so that you cast this on people to trap their souls to fill soul gems. Okay guys, now we're going to Highgate Ruins. And this is for a unique uh, Conjuration spell that you can only get from this place. And you just want to come in here and talk to this girl. She will ask you to help her retrieve a scroll. Huh? I'm Anska. Are you here to help? I'm here to help. I finally located Vulcan's cave. Good. The scroll I'm looking for just has to be here. Maybe you could help find it. I just know it's in here. You can have anything except the scroll, of course. And then once you help her, you're going to come up and find this guy towards the end of the tomb. Slaughter him without mercy. I'm the Dragonborn. You are nothing. Ha ha ha. And I'm just going to point out this guy's mask. Conjuration, illusion, and alteration spells cost 20% less magic to cast. So definitely worth mentioning in a conjuration video then you're just gonna walk past where you fought him the scroll that she wants is on the table here and then give that to her I, I cannot thank you enough for all of the help and here's a little something for helping me out and she will give you flaming familiar spell tomb and then can't forget this right here storm call one of the strongest shouts little cherry on top of the Conjuration video. Okay, so you read this. And this is basically like a exploding familiar that will just run up to people and explode. It's like a heat seeking grenade from a distance. Super, super handy, especially at lower levels. Okay, guys, now we're going to Skunda's Kiss, and I'm going to show you the two ways to boost Conjuration. Now, you want to come over here, and the reason I come here is because there's two ways to get your Conjuration up. The first is by casting summonable creatures and, and spells like Atronauts or Familiars. But you have to be in combat, otherwise you don't actually get experience for it. It's super annoying, So, which is also part of the reason why I made this Conjuration suit. So that it doesn't cost any magic to cast, and you can just keep casting again and again. Now this is the worst way out of the two ways. This is the more annoying way. The second way is you just want to kill something and I just want to say right off the bat to make this work you can't have the Skyrim unofficial patch or this will not work. The fastest way is to put soul trap in each hand and just cast it again and again boom 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 on a dead body of any kind. So just do that and once you get your conjuration to 50 just gonna throw a couple perks in here. Novice Conjuration, Mythic Binding, so all of our bound weapons do more. Dual Casting to make all Conjuration spells stronger. Summoner, Soul Stealer, so that our bound weapons Soul Trap. 
and the Oblivion Binding so that we can turn summoned creatures to fight for us with our bound weapons. Okay, now we're coming to the college to get the level 50 spells from Phineas. Get out of bed, Phineas. Wake up. Wake up. It's time to sell me spells. I'm ready. Well, I always find these teachers in their beds. Okay, and now for level 50, you're going to want to get Bound Battle Axe, Bound Bow, Conjure Frost Atronaut, and Bound Quiver. And Banish Daedra. This is Bound Battle Axe right here. And here is Bound Bow. I love Bound Bow. One of my favorite spells. And then we got Frost Atronaut. Big boy. And then we got Bound Quiver, which is actually in the Powers section. And then... Revent. And Bound Quiver, when you use it, it is simply Daedric Arrows for any regular bow that you have equipped. So, And now we're just going to keep grinding the Soul Trap grind and get it to 75 throw some more perks in here necromancy greater duration for reanimated undead and then talk to him for the level 75 spells and that's going to be command daedra Com conjure dramora lord conjure storm atronaut dread zombie expel daedra and Pride of Hearstang, but that is a creation club, Pride of Hearstang. So yeah, these are the level expert spells. My favorite out of all of these is the Conjure Dramora Lord. Just super cool all around. And then we got Conjure Storm Atronaut. Dreads on me. Reanimated powerful dead body to fight for you for two minutes. Expel Daedra, powerful summon Dramora. Creatures are sent back to oblivion. And Pride of Hearstang, which is basically just a player buff. Just a bear that enhances a couple things. Really neat. Not my favorite. I don't use it, but I gotta show it. Because it will be in the new version of Skyrim. Okay, guys, now we're coming over to Tell Mithrin and Solstheim. And this is for a couple spells unique to this island. You're going to want to come over here to the giant shroom. And if this is your first time here, you're going to have to do a little interaction to be able to get this spell. But long story short, this guy will sell you Conjure Ash Guardian. And to make it not hostile, you need a heart stone. There's one just behind the giant mushroom here. And it actually will not follow you, it's just a summon and then it will guard the place it's summoned spell. So it's a little unique in that aspect, but if you want to cast it without a heart stone, it'll still fight, but it will also fight you. So just keep that one in mind. And you can also get Conjure Ash spawn after you help Niloth with something. Then the Dark Elf guy will sell this also. And... Finally, on this island, you will come across black books, and inside of every black book, you will find the spell Conjure Seeker. And this is a seeker right here. Okay, guys, now we're going over to Castle Volkahar. And I'm not going to get into how to get these spells. You have to go to the Soul Cairn and find them inside the Soul Cairn. I have a video on that, Dawn Guard Completion Guide, if you want to get these spells. But from that DLC, you can get four spells Conjure Bone Man, Mist Man, and Wrath Man. 
Definitely some cool spells. That's Bone Man. This is Mist Man. This is the Mage variant of the two. And this is Wrath Man. It actually has more health than the Dremora Lord, but does slightly less damage. And this right here is my favorite conjuration spell of the whole Dawnguard DLC. One of my favorite spells in the game, Summon Arvac. Conjure this horse and you can ride around indoors. And I went and slaughtered this chicken to get my conjuration up some more. Your mom walks in the room. She's like, what are you doing, sweetie? You're like, oh, I'm just playing Skyrim, mom. She's like, what are you doing to that chicken? I'm trying to soul trap it, mom. Isn't that chicken dead? Shut up, mom. <laughs> anyway, we're getting our conjuration up to 95. Yeah. And then we are going to Windhelm. This is for the first out of five skill books for conjuration. Come to Belen's house. Picklock this. I know, Balin, I'm leaving soon. Just shut up. I'm here for a book that you tucked behind your dresser and don't own. So, I know you stole it too. It's not stealing for me. Conjuration, 96. Boom. And then we're coming over to Dawnstar. For the second out of five Conjuration skill books. And it's going to be in the Alchemy store right here. I don't know why it was locked for me. I had to pick it, but should be able to walk right in. I'm not going to warn you again. Get out or I'll... Boom. Conjuration 97. And then we're coming over to Falkreath Watchtower. Just outside of Falkreath. And then once you are here, just make your way up to the top of the tower. And you will find the Conjuration skill book underneath the tent. And that is 3 out of 5. Conjuration 98. Okay, now we are headed over to Felglow Keep. Beautiful mountain in the background. And then once you come in here, you're going to have to fight your way through the dungeon and then back up on the far side. And then you will come across this room with the chest and the book right here on this pillar. Conjuration 99. And then for the fifth Conjuration skill book, you're going to want to come to Understone Keep in Markarth. And then you're just going to want to turn to the left here and make your way into the Jarl's Quarters. And then just by his bed here, you'll find 5 out of 5 Conjuration skill books. Conjuration 100. Yay, we did it. Okay, now we're going to be going over some perks. You want to come up on the left here. Grab Atromancy, and then Elemental Potency, and then Twin Souls, the most important perk in the tree. So you can summon two things at once. Okay, now we're going to the College of Winterhold to activate the quest for the level 100 spells. Ask Phineas what else there is to be learned. There are spells yet to be learned. You must summon and command an unbound Remora. I will teach you the spell to summon the Dremora. You will order it to deliver to you a sigil stone from an oblivion gate. Once I have a sigil stone, I shall inscribe the spells that you seek. Okay, and then he will send you up on the roof here, and then you want to equip summon unbound Dremora, cast that. And then you're going to want to summon this guy a total of three times. You got to kill him twice, and on the third time, he'll do what you ask. Shut up. Do my bidding. And then once you do that, you can tell them what to do. Yours. Yours 
and then take the stone and give it to Phineas. Borrow it for a moment. Now, let's see what there is to see. I have the knowledge I need, and so you may have your stone back. And also, please, take this. You have done well. Okay, and then he will give you the Flame Thrall spell added, and then you have to buy Storm Thrall, Frost Thrall, and Dead Thrall. These are all in the level 100 spells for Conjuration. Now, we're going to go over them. So... Here we have Flame Thrall. This is a Flame Atronaut that will last forever until it's killed. And here we have a Frost Atronaut that will last until it's killed. And then, last but certainly not least, we have the Storm Atronaut that will last forever. But you can only have two at once if you have the last perk in the Conjuration Tree. Okay, now I'm going to show you some more stuff. You thought it was done? We're not done. Okay, now you want to come down here, make your way all the way down to the Atronaut Forge. Put the Sigil Stone there. Alright. Beautiful little altar. Now, get ready for this. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show what you need. A uh, Dramora Heart two pieces of meat and a skull and you can actually summon a physical Dramora Lord okay so you're gonna wanna summon this guy let your buddies take him out ha 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 that's right send him to the ceiling boys okay guys now if you have dead thrall which permanently summons a corpse then you can have two permanent Dramora followers if you get to too high of a level, I think if it's over 80 or something, this won't work. But as long as you're under level 80 or around there, then this will work. So look at that. Permanent Dramora Lord. So now I'm going to summon a second one on the altar so that I can have two. Because we can summon two at once. So that's how you get two permanent Dramora Lord followers. You have to summon their physical bodies and then dead thrall them. Look at that. Beautiful. Haha. -ha. Okay, guys. Now, we're still not done. To make a staff, you need a broom, a corodium ingot, fire salt, grand soul gem, and an iron ingot. This is for a flame thrall staff. Alright, you put that in there. This is for if you don't want to spend any magic to cast these spells and you don't have the fortified destruction suit then you can just use these and you don't need to tap into the magicka but it will cancel the Dramora lords being summoned okay and you do a broom frost salts grand soul gem iron ingot and refined moonstone and that is for the frost atronaut staff Alright, and then and then for the Storm Atronaut Staff, you need these guys. And then, boom. Staff of the Storm Atronaut. Put that, and just like that, one of every staff. That's about it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I got lots coming, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.